I always say this to all my stakeholders, you know, my language of love is success. You know, I work hard, I give them everything, the business deals, I close all the, um, you know, all the profitable and viable businesses for my stakeholders. But unfortunately, it came to a point where she needed empathy. But of course, you know, the world is fair. You know, I'm, I'm very type A, I'm very productive, and I express things, you know, for us to move forward. Unfortunately, you know, she has a lot of baggage, apparently. And she unleashed all of those on me. I wasn't supposed to resign. I mean, it was still good. I mean, again, like as a as a type A manager, I always wanted to move forward with all the improvements, with all the you know calibrations, and with all the solutions. But uh, a specific incident, particularly a feature during the Crazy Rich Asians premiere, really made her go berserk. during the um, coverage of the movie premiere when we all went to LA we had our service provider Sweet Escapes to give us all the coverage all the print all the videos and then of course you know all service providers will give it for free if you are a Chris Aquino and they said oh we'll even help you with the PR and then of course when everything was celebrating her success the movie you know it's the movie of representation and when when the PR went out one of those channels were um, through female network and metro style and that's when she went all berserk like why did you give the material to an EBS CBN affiliate you know how much that can really be in terms of me feeling all the hurt again and all the pain because during, you know, when she was with the home network. And that's it. Uh, you know, like, as the head of KCAP, I took full accountability. Technically, it wasn't my fault. It was the fault of our media managers. But of course, I am the leader and I am the head. And I said, ma'am, I will take full accountability and I apologize for that. She even said, sorry to be a bitch, but what does your accountability give me? Yeah, I said sorry. I said sorry profusely. That's why I kept saying sorry. Because I did not know that, that baggage. When I met her, you know, it was already the end of her contract. She was in the management transition. I thought she wanted the route of the happy capitalist, which is aligned with what I really do and what, you know, you have to understand, I did not come from showbiz. Never zero knowledge, zero exposure, and when I met her, you know, it's all blank slate. Like that's what I do when 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 I take on projects. Like for me, I I say hello and then we move forward together. But then slowly, I think may also because if you recall, she recently made a movie again with yeah. Star Cinema during middle of the year, and I think that opened a lot of can of worms. And, and, and making her feel vulnerable again or making her miss, I don't know, the good old days. But then she lashed it out all on me. And surprisingly as well, because it's so weird, like both the designer of her gown and her stylist also gave exclusive features to Metro Style. And yet they did not receive any rat, any lashing. Only me. We had 54 brands, you know, we were at the top of the world and, and we actually exceeded the revenues that she was really earning from her network. And I thought, yay, you know, mission accomplished, job done, you know, like pat on the back, Nico. But I think it was also too much for her, given her age, given her capacity, because during July, I don't know if you recall. We actually went to like four countries. June, July, four or five countries, including Hong Kong, Thailand, we went to Indonesia, we went to LA. And of course, I think that really um, exhausted her. However, I never forced her. 
because she said to me, Nico, every peso we get is a peso away from them. So she really wanted all those deals. Let's do it all ASEAN countries, you know, let's make it a good case study for everybody. But then I think, you know, at the end of the day when she reviewed everything, she felt that it was all too much. And she felt that I kind of pushed her into it. Again, not my fault. She gave the direction, like seal all contracts, get all contracts at any cost, at any time, at any setup. It, it, it's an accumulation of all the things. She felt that first it was a half-baked reunion. You know, she came back, but nobody was really there. She came back, she only met... I do not know. I do not know her life during ABS-CBN, but those were her rants to me. You know, and then when the movie is being made, when the movie posters were up, you know, billing issues, um, the size of the head, I, I do not know, you know, like how the movies are done. No, I mean, everything was set up. No, I, Star Cinema really did welcome her. But there were just some missing individuals. So. And this is me being nice. I'm not nice, you know. You know who's missing there. Yeah, all her previous managers, I think. Nobody's there. And honestly, okay, for me, I consider that, you know, being part of her top management is the best windfall. Again, I'm the, I'm the productive capitalist. And so I, I don't want to ask what happened. And, and it was never proper, it was never in my place to, to question. You know, I've seen the management transition, I've seen her exploring other managements. And for me, I just stayed there. First, I was just brought in to really manage her food ventures, you know, Nacho Bimbi, etc. And then Nico, try digital. And then Nico, now I'm going to give you this SPA. Nico, now you're going to handle all these like responsibilities. And then for me, I said, I can do it as long as I can. I'm able to form my team. And I did. I formed a very, very... Um, high-performing millennial you know like talent pool uh, Pep would have observed that you know when we were doing all of our events all of our webisodes all of our premieres you know and the kids were happy she was happy but then yeah it's a series of, of I don't know like opening a kind of worms Laura's box whatever you want to call it and then I think it got worse, and then it got worse. Officially and technically, Sir Boy and I only talk super briefly, but just really about one brand inquiry. And that's it. And then he said, okay, they will call you, Nico. FYI, there's an inquiry about a specific brand. Nothing more, nothing less. I do not know how they communicated. I, I mean, I am not privy to that. I'm not good. I'm not going to misrepresent anything because I'm really, I, re I really like, you know, like disclaimed on that angle. Again, because this is a windfall for me, you know, I mean, like I was the one now helping her and managing her. And I think that's the, that's the decent thing to do. The, the setup was, I will still handle all digital and all brands, any movie, any TV, any event is now under Sir Ericsson. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we were closely and we were closely coordinating about those or going about those functions and, and separations of tasks. Not that I know. I turned it over to Sir Ericsson. Actually, yeah, and it was part of the the Cathay Pacific charges that she wanted, but it was an official iFlix shoot, you know, that was the live life with Chris. And unfortunately, we were only able to upload a handful of episodes.